so I just got some more mail. But how, here's my question. How's Amazon gonna send me this whole box? And you look inside that box, and that's the only thing. This little bitty thing was inside that big old box. Crazy. Dang. All right, so I just got home, got another package. I'm always ordering stuff, but this thing should fix something that may not necessarily need fixing, but something that I think needs fixing. This is from Skywind. I'm not promoting this product. I don't even know if this works. I just ordered it online, what, two days ago? And it's here now, so $20. I'll show you guys what this thing is, what it does. And hopefully it works. All right. All the packaging out the way and all this other junk. Little plastic. Well, that's annoying. There we go. That should be. It's got this like plastic coating on it. Just like clear tape for the most part. But these are my Apple AirPods. This little thing slides over them. Doesn't make them too much bigger. This is smaller than a lot of the other cases that I saw. Plus the other cases had another lid that went on top of this lid that had a little rubber piece on the back and then you couldn't open it without that big old thing being in the way. And just personal preference, I didn't like any of them. So I got this one and give me a second. We're gonna go put this thing on the wireless charger to see if this makes my AirPods wireless charging. All right, so it has this little indicator down here at the bottom, my wireless charger, and we are wireless charging. So I just finished filming Tactical Talks. My dogs have been running around outside all day. I actually sat down for a second, started reviewing some videos and watching YouTube videos like I always do. And these two ladies just sat up on me. So the little one's leaning up against me and the big one's leaning up against the little one. You know what I'm talking about. I got errands to run. So we're driving now. Um, I gotta go soon by the AT&T store to talk to them about my account. It's always something. I'm always having to check my account, update my account. And it's not just AT&T. I'm not saying AT&T is a bad service. I love AT&T. I've been with them for a really long time, but it's always something whether it's my home insurance my you know the flood thing all that stuff so i figured out or i learned from the insurance adjuster that we didn't meet our deductible as far as the damage done to my house then she wanted to tell me back and forth you're not covered for this you're not covered for that whatever we ended up figuring out i am covered but we just didn't meet the deductible so with that being said, the little damage that I do have there in the house, a little water damage to some of the baseboards, some of the uh, uh, sheetrock or whatever there, I'm gonna end up fixing all that myself. Um, I got some time off this coming month in about two weeks. So that's probably gonna be my project. You guys will probably get to see that. Not that that's gonna be fun at all, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, yeah, and that's, that's pretty much it. We found, I had an AC guy come out yesterday and we found where the leak is coming from or where the water's coming from. There's a chase that runs under my house that allows my condensation line and the wiring for the outside unit and everything to feed from inside my house, out under the house to the side of the house to connect all of that stuff. So there's a lot of water building up on that side of the house so what happened was we got like eight or nine inches of rain a week ago two weeks ago whatever it was and all of that rain kind of flooded out the side of the house where there's a little divot down there everything else was fine but that little part kind of got flooded so all that water buildup needed somewhere to go so it kind of chased into that pipe that goes underneath my house and 
that's what caused that water to kind of come up out of the ground or out of the floor in my hallway so that made sense why it was coming from under my ac unit i wasn't sure if, if it was my ac unit or what it was i figured it was something to do with the rain considering how much rain we were getting and that's when the water came in so that's what we figured out the problem is so headed to at&t right now gonna be there probably for a while talking to them about my account checking everything make sure everything's where it's supposed to be when, once that is done then i gotta go get some of that foam seal and we're gonna clean the inside where that tube is where that pipe is for that chase and we're gonna foam seal all of that up and that's what the ac guy recommended to prevent that water from coming back up so i'm gonna do the inside now while i can and once it stops raining because we just got some more rain the other day once it stops raining and it's dry outside then what i'm going to do is dig up um, the outside portion of it we're going to spray foam that um, i may tape it up or find some way to wrap it and then once that's done then we'll bury it and then it should be good we should have no more leaking inside the house so that's that's kind of where we're at right now all right so we're back at the house i had to run around ran a bunch of errands but I was able to pick this stuff up right here. I couldn't find this stuff anywhere else. I didn't go to every store, but I went to a couple stores, they didn't have it. I found this stuff at Dollar General, so we're gonna hope that this stuff works. It was like two or three dollars. But we're gonna get down to the bottom under the AC where the thing is leaking, spray this in there, and hopefully this seals everything up. So this is disgusting underneath the house back here, but we're gonna fill this up best that we can. So we got that thing sprayed. That's gonna have to work for now. We have to wait to see the next time that it rains to see if that actually worked. Um, I didn't realize how sticky that stuff is, so I still have to get the rest of it off of my hands, but whatever, it is what it is. I wanted to tell all of you guys who are subscribed to my channel, whether you've been subscribed, whether you're new, I just wanna say thank you. I planned on doing what well, I still am going to do a giveaway from hitting 250 subscribers and then after this i won't be doing another giveaway until we hit 500 subscribers but i really wasn't paying attention too close how close we were and i was like well i have time my channel is still slowly growing so i'll come up with an idea of what i want to do with the giveaway i hadn't come up with an idea i just looked we surpassed 250 not by much but we passed that 250 mark so if you guys have any ideas on what you guys want me to do as a giveaway let me know last time i did a custom holster giveaway and then i threw in a bunch of goodies i threw in some decals i threw in a flashlight different things like that so you guys let me know what you guys want to do or what you guys want to see for a giveaway maybe within this next week i'll be announcing what we're going to be doing as a giveaway and then i'll let you guys know what y'all have to do in order to be entered to win for the giveaway so Thank you guys for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, like the video. I put out weekly videos, just vlogging stuff such as this one. And then every Friday we do our tactical talk segment. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.